It's me, Dr. Frances Urshad. It's great to see you today on this beautiful morning. And today I want to talk to you about brushing your teeth. It's really important that you're brushing your teeth and looking after them, looking after your gums, flossing, eating a good diet, everything you can do at home to make sure that you don't end up um, with any dental problems. Okay, so why do we need to brush our teeth? So you can prevent gum disease and decay and you can also remineralize the enamel and neutralize the acids in your mouth. Now, most of the plaque collects along the gum lines and in between your teeth. And the most common places for tartar to build up are inside the front teeth, in there, and outside the back teeth, up here. That's because that's where the saliva outlets are and tartar, which is the hardened plaque, has calcium, which has got there from the saliva. Okay, but what is plaque? It's not that shiny thing that you hang up on the wall. Dental plaque is a sticky white mixture of bacteria and saliva that builds up on your teeth throughout the day. Plaque causes tooth decay if it's left on your teeth and the bacteria in the plaque create acid to dissolve the surface enamel and then they enter the tooth and devour it from the inside. Because the enamel on the outside of your tooth is stronger than the dentine on the inside of the tooth, then often the decay will grow and spread within the tooth without being visible from the outside. So you might have a big cavity inside your tooth and you don't even... All of a sudden you might be just biting something soft and boom, your whole half your tooth breaks <laughs> and then you're just thinking what happened my tooth looked fine before and now I've got this you know big hole but yeah that's what happens but not to worry plaque can be removed with good brushing and um, that can prevent the buildup of tartar and prevent caries prevent decay cavities whatever you want to call it and just keep you having a really nice healthy smile. All right, what is tartar? Tartar, also known as calculus, forms when the plaque stays on the teeth and then it binds with the calcium from your saliva, which is released um, under your tongue. Pretend the tongue is here. So in here and also it's released out of your cheeks and there's a few various other places in your mouth, but those are the main places. Um, and then the calcium from the saliva turns the plaque into a hard solid mass, like little stones stuck onto the teeth. And then the tartar cannot be removed at home anymore by a tooth with a toothbrush. Tartar is um, also called calculus by most dentists. And only a dental professional can remove the tartar or calculus with their special cleaning instruments. Now most plaque, develops along the gum lines and also on the outside surfaces of your teeth and right where the gum meets the tooth okay so you really want to make sure you're getting into that area now let's get to the fun part brushing the teeth okay so manual and electric toothbrushes have different ways of using them but you always want to choose soft bristles and i really like the manual bamboo toothbrushes because then there's less plastic waste polluting into our ocean so if you're going to buy a manual brush i recommend get a bamboo one um all right so try to brush for two minutes twice a day and make sure that to make sure that it's two minutes you can choose a song that you like which goes for two minutes and play the song while you're brushing your teeth and then when the song's finished you know you can stop brushing your teeth all right I'm just gonna see if I can get a angle here. Yeah, uh, here we go. So you want to angle the toothbrush at 45 degrees so that you make a little triangle shape in there, in between the gum line and the teeth. There we go. And you want to try to get half a millimeter under the gum and just do little wiggles 
Yeah, circular motion for 10 seconds. Usually it's good to start at one side and then work your way around to the other side. Yeah, so cut off there a little bit. Once you've done one tooth for 10 seconds, then you can move on to the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the next one, and so on and so forth. And you want to brush all the surfaces on the outsides that you can see, but don't forget to brush the inside surfaces that you can't see so well because you can also get decay, cavities, holes, whatever you want to call it inside the teeth as well and you also can build up plaque and tartar there which are not good for your gums or your teeth you want to keep your teeth as long as you can so don't miss anywhere brushing the inside is similar to brushing the outside I don't know if you can see that it's 45 degrees angle little wiggles except on the front teeth instead of putting your brush sideways sometimes you can't fit sideways and you can't get all those surfaces so angle it vertically instead of horizontally and i like to angle my toothbrush a little bit sideways <laughs> i don't know if you can see that just to get all the plaque out okay then you want to scrub your biting surfaces like this. Which are these parts? On the top of your teeth. They bite together. Yeah. Now, a common mistake that a lot of people make is they scrub their teeth like this. Don't worry if that's you, but I don't want you to do it anymore because what happens is when the toothbrush is like this and you're scrubbing you're not getting in between the teeth see if I angle it this way I'm getting right in between the bristles are going into all the nooks and crannies and also what happens is if you scrub the teeth like that like this then you wear off the edges of the teeth and you end up with these yellow divots into the teeth and also the gums can recede and shrink backwards so it's um, not a good look as well and it's not good for your teeth, not good for your gums so you don't want to be doing that. And last but not least, don't forget to brush your tongue. A lot of bacteria can build up on your tongue. You can use your toothbrush or you can get a tongue cleaner to clean your tongue. All right, stay safe, stay healthy at home. I hope you enjoyed this video about how to brush your teeth and next time I'll see you for how to floss your teeth. All right, bye, peace out, I love you.